Okay, so the rest of 9.2, we are going to start with this word problem. It says the Euro dish developed to provide electricity in remote areas uses a parabolic <clears throat> reflector to concentrate sunlight onto a high efficiency engine located at the reflector's focus. The sunlight heats helium to 650 degrees Celsius to power the engine. Okay? It wants to know, it wants us to write an equation for the Euro dish's cross section with its vertex at zero, zero. Okay? So look, this right here is the parabola, basically, that they're talking about. That's the parabola. That's the cross section. Okay, that's the parabola. Okay. So that's the parabola, and this is coming, this is right here. That means that this point would be what of the parabola? The focus? The focus. Oh, I get it. And how far <laughs> is that focus from the center of that parabola, the vertex at 4. zero? 4.5 meters. 4.5 meters. Yeah. So my P is what? 4.5 meters. 4.5. Mm -hmm. Now, is it x squared equals or y squared equals? Uh, what way is this parabola facing? Uh, it would be x squared equals. It would be x squared equals or py. You know what p is, yes? p is 4.5. So, we plug it in. Oh, okay. What is 4.5 times 4? I'm just throwing up because they call me a parabola. That's what's throwing me up. You know? <laughs> <coughs> so, you should get x squared equals 18y. There's the equation for it. Okay? Now, now it says... How deep is the dish? How deep is the dish? Okay. How do you think we can figure out how deep the dish is? Okay, so here's my dish, right? Well, isn't the top, isn't the, the 8.5, isn't that your, um, your, that's your diet? Yeah, but well, yes, it's not my diuretrics, but oh. it's the length of this whole dish. Yeah. So length from here to here. Okay. Oh, we need to like find like the area or something. Not the area. What do you have to do with eight point five? Oh, do you plug it in as a y and then like into the equation that we got? Um, not exactly. You're you're thinking, not exactly. Mm -hmm. Look at this. What does what shape does this make here? Oh, a triangle. A triangle, right? Okay. So we have to find the. Uh, okay. And we want to know how deep it is, correct? So we have to find like. No, no, we don't have to use Pythagorean theorem, but we have to think a little bit. Okay. You know that this point here. Okay. Let's say that this point here. We know that this is zero zero. Yes. Yes. Okay. So how far is it from here to this outer edge? Uh, It'd be the same. Half of 8.5. Half of 8.5. What's half of 8.5? I don't know. 4. 3.5. No. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4.25. Well, what's half of, yeah, because half of 50 is 25. So 4.25. Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to plug 4.25 into my equation? Why? From here to here. What is oh, that? That's, that's your x-axis. Traveling lengthwise. Yeah. X-axis. Oh. So I'm going to plug it into my x, correct? My x. So I'm going to say 4.25 squared equals 18y. I'm going to use the equation we came up with. <clears throat> what is 4.25 squared? 20.25. 20.25. And then how do you solve from oh, there? Divide by 18. Divided by 18, and what do you get? 1.25. So do we just round or are we not rounding? Um, actually, 4.25 is not 20. Uh, uh, on, Jason. Is it 4.25? It should be 18.06. Oh, I did the wrong one. I did the wrong one? <laughs> what do you mean you did the wrong one? I, I think I put in like 5. I did 4.25. Divide by 18, right? And y would equal like 1.06. Are we still So y running? is roughly... One. one. So that means it's how deep? Approximately one. What is this in one, here? One meter. One meter. Approximately one meter deep. All this for a meter deep. Let's see. <laughs> Let's 
Actually, we solved two things. We came up with the equation of the parabola, right. and then we came up with how deep it was. I'm pretty sure I could have measured that by hand quicker than <laughs> we did the problem. Drew, you can't get inside of the dish. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give you some more problems. Remembering the 